Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're looking at the brand new Embergen beta release of 0.5.5 and this comes with a couple of features and updates. Embergen is the world's number one, as far as I know, real-time volumetric fluid simulation tool for both games and films. So in case you've never heard about this before, we've covered a couple of times on the channel and today we're looking at this new release which comes with, you know, a truckload of stuff. Not so much, but there are some updates and some improvements and we're definitely going to take a look at them right now. So with Embergen open right here, if you take a look at what we had before and now, you'll notice that there is something very different or a very tiny change with the UI. One of the main changes with the UI that you would notice is right here, we now have very cool scene coordinates widgets and this will tell you where things are or what parts you are looking at in your scene like right now you can see that you can easily rotate around and you can tell where your y axis are where your z axis are and where your x axis are this would make a lot of sense especially if you're bringing your object into embergen and you're trying to simulate them of course we've talked about how you can play with these things before another cool thing that you notice with the ui right now with this new release is you can now extend your viewport so if you're looking for more you know real estate if you're looking for bigger space for you to work with stuff you can now see these things right here something else that is also very interesting that is actually one of the pinnacle of what comes with this new update is at this point you can simulate millions of gpu particles and the best way to actually explain this is by simply going over to file go over to where you can open a new project since this now comes with over 19 new presets and these presets are basically gpu enabled presets and you will notice when you scroll down within your presets that you see them here known as gpup now the p actually stands for particles as there is a new render mode where you know the gpu particles are actually rendered directly on your viewport so we would just simply pick any of these let's find one maybe we can get this lava bust and open this up and you can see now the beautiful thing is these things are happening in real time and at any point in time you can pause the simulation you can inspect this simulation you can play this thing back you can pause it again you can animate this to your own you know liking to whatever you want and you can simply experiment with as much as you want i can also go ahead and hit on the open one more time and also get some more stuff opened here so if we actually look for oh a spider web venom so let's see what that looks like i actually think that might be cool so let's press the playback okay that looks nice so we can actually see what that venom looks like and you can see thousands and thousands of particles that you can get here despite the fact that embergen by default is a real-time fluid simulator tool it is very interesting to see that you can also simulate some very cool particles with this so we have actually covered some things about embergen before and it's very cool to see that there are some very cool updates that they've added right here they've also gone ahead to rework the alpha blending for you know exporting images so in case you want to export your image and stuff like that there is now a very cool alpha blending there is also something very interesting which i found out that they've also added to this so if i actually go back let's get a brand new preset so that we can press the playback button and see that simulation happening yeah so once you have your simulation going on and let's say at the end of the day this is what you have simulated you can now easily go in there and pause your simulation after you've exported it so you can find this option when you're working with the simulation once you click on the simulation right here and scroll all the way down you would notice that you have pause after exporting this will pause the simulation after you've exported and what this would do in turn is to help save memory and you know an overall performance while you can get things going so if we simply reset our animation right here and try to see how you can work with the brand new experimental gpu particles how that works is fairly decent so i'm just going to press the playback button and get this happening and for example let's say this is what we want so how do you get this experimental gpu particles in your scene you have to go to volumes and directly here you can see that we have rendering mode from the rendering mode is where you can get all of these things happening as you can either choose to see the particles experimental which once you restart and press the playback button you start noticing that there's a huge difference between what you had before and what we have right now or you can reset this one more time and switch this to the hybrid 
experimental. Now, once you do that and press the playback button, you would also notice that we have some fairly cool stuff that is happening right here. So depending on what you want and how you want to get your simulations going on, you can definitely make these choices yourself. So one of the questions that we got from the previous video, which we did is the question of how do you consistently get this thing to loop? So if you want to get this to loop, it is very, very simple as all you need to do is click on the simulation button, go all the way down here, I think. And right here where you have the time control, you can change this to looping. So your loop could either be timeline looping, you know, simulation looping or repeat simulation, depending on what you want to do. So with this here, you can just simply click on loop timeline and you can set the timeline when you want things to start. Let's say for our example, we want it to start at frame zero all the way to frame 120. Let's dial that in 120. So I'm just gonna dial 120 directly there. And once we go back and press the playback button right now, you would notice it creates this check mark here where once it bounces to that point, it restarts and it can go back and forth. So these are some very cool stuff that you can definitely do. And it's very cool to see that we have this experimental GPU particle stuff here. So if you're trying to export things for your games and you want to get this experimental particles, you can definitely do that right here. And just like we said earlier, you can go in here, make sure you have your pause after exporting function there. So once you click directly here where you have the image and you press the export now, it's just simply going to export all you have and once it gets to the end it simply pauses the animation so if you jump back to your ray tracer you notice your animation is paused and this makes a lot of sense something else that has been improved is the interaction right here you might probably not notice but there is a better improvement with the interaction in terms of nodes and stuff and like we talked about before there are colliders that have existed here with the previous build so if you just simply click and drag from here you can add colliders from the shape section we can just simply click and drag so let's really do that and add a primitive so right now you can see these primitives and these would act as colliders so what i mean by that is if we simply rewind this and press the playback button you would notice that this collides with what we have and because this is just super real time we can move around the scene and of course we can you know distort this particular stuff like that you are not caching this to memory you are actually not uh, trying to get this from a proxy this is simulating and it is happening in real time something else which has also been added to the whole simulation thing is the simulation now is even better and the it has a much more faster rendering there is also some very interesting stuff which includes some stylization and we're definitely going to take a look at that right now so if you want to stylize this what you can do is very simple so for the stylization you need to go over to the volume section and if you simply scroll all the way down you would notice that we have something called post process so within this post process we can easily you know choose what we want if we want to get some stylized stuff you can see how stylized that is and of course the collider actually works with that so you can also get this type of uh, stylization thing going if we also go all the way down i think this is uh, something that we talked about last time you can also get some sharpen and you can choose to sharpen this as much as you want if you want to get a much more uh, sharp looking smoke if you want to get a dull looking smoke you can do that you can also choose to sharpen the temperature and turn this down the same thing happens for the flame so you have a lot of flexibility of things that you can do something else which has also been done for this which makes a lot of sense for me is at the point where you can uh, work with this stuff you can and now render crazy amount of volume so if you're using a gpu which by the way this relies heavily on gpu to get things going so if you're using a gpu to get your stuff working you might have uh, some sort of issues based on the size of the gpu you're working on and in our case since we're using the nvidia rtx 5000 we don't really have so much problems like this of course if you're using uh 1080 if you're using a 1060 if you're using something within the 9 series of course you can get these things up to speed and you can actually get some pretty cool results from here but then if you're using like uh, an nvidia rtx you know more like that you would be able to knock out things from here really really fast so let's go ahead and open one of the most heavy looking stuff that they have here and i think that should be around the preset nine something like that let's simply find that so i think that's the volcano open this up you can see we have this huge huge volcanic eruption so rendering shading and also the looks of this has been 
highly highly improved so if you're thinking about getting this of course you can take a look at this right here and you can see what this does so this is real time and this is actually not something that has to cash to disk or maybe you know you have to spend some crazy amount of time to get things going something else which you would also notice is the cool thing that has been added here is you can tell how much usage that your gpu is being used you can tell the simulation time you can tell the render time that you're having and you can also tell how much frame rates that this is running by simply taking a look at this right here one thing i'll suggest for the guys at the younger effects creators is if we can get that information somewhere around here that would make a lot of sense and it is just very interesting to see that there is a tool out there that kind of does things that you would literally think some dcc apps would have thought about right now the guys from younger effects are also thinking about creating some other simulation tool which will deal more with water and stuff and until that comes these are the kind of cool things that you can have here so if you want to export any of the things that you've done you can just simply export these things as vdbs launch them over to apps like blender render them directly from there and get good with it all of those things and links to how you can find these are going to be in the description and probably you'll be wondering how do you get this app so if you want to get this app there is actually a 14 days trial version that you can get right here so if we simply go over here you can actually apply for a 14 days trial and you can get this tool and start playing with it so this is definitely going to be about it if you want to read more about the updates that is now here link is going to be in the description if you want to see some very cool stuff that this can do you can definitely go over to the discord channel where they share tons and tons of stuff and you can also find out how you can get going with that so this is all about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday Tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.